Hi everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm here today to share with you our latest collections from Stamperia. So the first collection I'm going to share with you is Alchemy, and it's brand new to Stamperia, and it's gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to share with you each one of the pages of the 12 by 12 collection, and then I'm going to share with you the elements that come with it, or that uh, are companion uh, elements to the collection. So this First of all, beautiful. I could cut this apart and use it many different ways, but I also love the B side. And here are the cut aparts, the four by six cards in the collection. This beautiful clock. They always have a clock in their collections and they're gorgeous. And look at that. I love the dark. I love using these as um, contrast pieces when I'm doing multiple flaps on a page. It helps break things apart, so I love that. This is gorgeous. These small cut aparts are just beautiful. So these are about, let's check. I'll pull my ruler in. Let's see, these are uh, three and a half by three and a half. Each one of these are three and a half by three and a half, so you could do a lot with that as far as mini albums go, featuring or just use them as a feature on a large page. This is beautiful. I love this. You can cut this apart. Maybe use some of the alphabet. This is just gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Mm. I love this collection already. This probably is my favorite element on the page. Yes, for sure. Anyway, gorgeous. And I love this too. <laughs> There's that bumblebee theme again. So these cut, cut aparts are just gorgeous to use as main elements, but if you don't want to use them as tags and elements on your page, look at the back side. It's beautiful as well. Oh my gosh, what could I do with this? So many things. I think I would use this page. I would cut things apart. Maybe use the numbers to signify dates or months in my album but it's beautiful. <clears throat> I like that. That's an artist thing, I think. I like this as well, more cut-aparts. And it's nice that there's cut-aparts A and B side. So if you cut these out and you don't want to paper back them, they do have a coordinating back side. A nice background, beautiful. So this is the alchemy. So let me show you some of the other elements that come with that. So there's the chipboard, which is 19 pieces, adhesive backed. There is an 8x8 collection, just like what I showed you. There are the chip uh, die, cord, die cut pieces, which actually to me are more like chipboards because they're quite rigid. And there's 37 pieces of that. And then in addition to all that, we have these wonderful rice papers that coordinate with the collection. Three, four, and five. Look at all that. That's so beautiful. So many things to, many elements to choose from. If you go to www.scrapandcreate.com, click on Stamperia as a brand and go to Alchemy, you'll see each one of these individual elements. You'll have more photographs, but also you see the price. So the next collection I want to share with you is Lady Vagabond, which is long awaited. Uh, and this is a beautiful collection. It's 10 double face sheets and I, it smells so delicious. When I open it up and I can smell all the ink, it's oh, it's so delicious. So all these cut aparts are just beautiful. And then of course we've seen her before in Lady Vagabond. This, I, I love this. I have a lot of different ideas about this. And if I do an album with this, I'm going to do something special with this design. Not sure just yet what it is, but I'm definitely going to feature. I'm going to work around the page based on this design. And this is easy. If you're doing a 12 by 12, these would be flaps and you'd open them up and there'd be photos beneath them or journaling spots. That's beautiful hard to do anything with this. It's so beautiful. And I love this. 
And also, if you're a 12 by 12 scrapbook person, this is perfect. All you have to do is lay in, you know, your your photos right here, a four by six, a four by six, a four by four, three by threes. You wouldn't have to do anything but lay your mat and lay your photos in just like that. I love it. This is beautiful. I love a contrast simple page that makes it easy for me to layer these what I call collage images. And these are beautiful cut aparts for cards or to feature as design elements on individual pages in your scrapbook. And this, how can you go wrong with an antique typewriter? You just can't. More cut aparts. And I like this, which is kind of more the guts of a typewriter. And then if you notice, these are cut aparts, but they're they're bi-sided, so both sides are have the you can flip them over, you don't have to card stock map them. And then here's another two-page layout. All you have to do is lay your photos in. Although, as a mini album maker, I wouldn't have any trouble figuring out how to make that into an 8x8 or an 8x10. Another background, beautiful cut aparts. So in addition to the 12x12 12 12 collection pack, the Lady Vagabond has what they call background selections, which is something that's fairly new to Stamperia, maybe in the last year, and I'm so glad that they're doing this. I, I It really makes you stretch a collection out having more of the patterns. So we've seen this, but we've got this on the other side. And look at that. That was not in the 12 by 12 collection pack. Neither was this. This was very similar, but not the same. This is actually bolder in color. And so it's actually designed for you to use more of the background images and less of those strong bold images that you see in the 12 by 12, which is perfect because at some point you can't cut through the images, right? Beautiful books, can't go wrong with the typeset or this. Lovely background, background. And then you get this sort of striped page, which I love, which really helps me cut up patterns. And both of these are just beautiful. I love this. This is consistent with the rest of the Vagabond collections. So there are the background images. In addition to that, there are die cuts, which most of the time die cuts are almost paper thin or a little bit thicker. These are much more like chipboard die cuts, so they're quite thick and rigid, which I love. There's 41 pieces. There's the 8x8 collection pack, the 6x6 collection pack, what they call the collectibles collection pack, which has beautiful cut-aparts, but also, so I'm going to share with you, there's the cut-aparts, and then the flip sides are patterns which you can integrate into the rest of the album, so you don't have to use the cut-apart page. You also just can use it as a patterns. Here's the chipboard, which is adhesive backed. So their chipboard is adhesive backed. Their die cuts are not, but they're basically the same thickness. So that's one set. Here's the other set that comes with it. And then in addition to all that, we have these lovely Bryce papers. And this collection has, that's five, six, seven, eight, eight rice papers that go with this. And if you haven't tuned in to um, the Quiet Cat Paper Company, um, she has done amazing things with rice paper. So if you don't know how to use it, tune in. She's got a couple of tutorials that show you how to use it on the cover of your albums. I most recently used it on Vagabond in Japan and I used it on my box. So I also show you how to use it there, but she's done it multiple times in the album format. So what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> this is the one I can't wait to get my hands on. 
So it comes with a 12 by 12 collection pack as well as a patterns or what they call background selection. And I just love it. It's gorgeous. Of course, I love everything Stamperia, but oh my goodness, look at this. It's so beautiful. I'm having a hard time getting past the front page. It's gorgeous. Lots of cut aparts, which is the uh, B side of the cover. So the cover never goes to waste. If you don't want to trim down and use the cover, the flip side's always usable. Of course, we all know this very, very famous image. I don't think I need to say much. It speaks for itself. So beautiful. So lovely. It's, it's yellow, but when I'm looking at it here in this light, it almost looks like it's gold flecked, including this, which is not surprising because that's kind of the feel of Clement anyway. But it, it almost feels like there's gold emboss on it. It's beautiful. Look at these. Oh my goodness. I love it. I'm having a hard time waiting to see the, the background selection. Of course, very, very famous image. Oh, and they have the circles, which I love. They kind of did this for probably the first, I don't know, 40 collections I saw, and then they stopped doing it, now they're back. I like it. And then a cut apart page, which I love which can help you add dimension to any page. Okay, let's look at the backgrounds. I haven't seen them yet, but just looking at the cover, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, so I have to do a couple more albums before I get to this and I can't stand it. <laughs> I wanna work with this. I love these colors, this palette is beautiful. Look at that. It's just so beautiful. So many choices. I really like um, the arrangement of the patterns because it's gorgeous, but I, I'm i going to be comfortable cutting through this because um, I'm not going to do a 12 by 12 layout, and I'm going to be able to cut through this. Sometimes I can't. Um, but this, the background collection, I'm going to feel comfortable cutting through it uh, to scale things down to the album that I'm building. Yes. And now I'm coming to the end, and I still feel like, yep, I'm going to be able to do that. Um, I do think I'm going to struggle a little bit with the 12 by 12 collection. I'm going to have to spend some time looking at it before I even decide what size the album's going to be. But I know that whatever I decide based on the 12 by 12, the background's gonna work for me. It's gorgeous. And I do feel like I can scale this to whatever I do on the 12 by 12 collection. So in addition to that, there's more. There's even more. So this is the die cuts, which I told you is, they call it die cuts, but to me it feels more like chipboard. It's not adhesive backed, but it's quite rigid like chipboard. There's 41 pieces in this. And this is what they call the card collectible. This is what comes in it. I hope I'm in frame. So you've got cards. You've got elements that look a lot like the cut aparts. Um, so you have seven cards, five tags, and one bookmark. And I'd be... Having looked at the collection, I, I'm going to hold, hold off on my comment for a second. I'm going to look at the scale, because if the scale is the same as what I'm seeing in the collection, it's smaller. Okay, 
So the scale of the cards looks to be a little bit smaller than the collection pack, and I'm good with that. Um, if it was the same, um, I would say, if it was exactly the same, I'd say buy the collectible cards and use the, the B side of the collection pack. But these look to be a slightly smaller scale, although I haven't opened it, so don't hold me to that. Um, but I'm really liking it. I think these would be easy to use as design elements. And um, instead of using the cut aparts in the collection pack, I'd use the flip side for the, um, the pattern on the flip side. This is what they actually call the um, chipboard, which is adhesive backed. So that's one. And then there's the second one, which is, actually there's three. Hmm. Chipboard, adhesive backed. And it's thick, just like the die cuts, but it has a sticker on the back. And then the last one is an alpha chipboard package so that you can personalize it. Okay, so here we are, the last element of the collection are the rice papers. and you absolutely can't go wrong with any of them. I would say this one and this one are definitely stars. I would use these as covers. These look more like backgrounds. Can't go wrong with that. These are like cut aparts so that you can use on small, oh, and I forgot to mention we have a six by six and an eight by eight, same collection. So to me, these are the two main elements. This is the most simple background to integrate. And then you've got these other elements. So there are a total of six rice papers that also coordinate with this collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough and reveal of Stampery's latest collections. Um, I'm pretty ready to start on any one of those. Um, although I've got to get a couple more albums out before I can do that. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. As I mentioned before in our earlier video, pretty much the only way we get exposed to other people is through shares from you and comments on YouTube. That helps us move to the top of the list for YouTube recommendations. I appreciate you taking time to share with us and check out these latest collections from Stamperia. Talk to you soon.